now. Let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, when Barbara Lum shaved off Grandpappy Spears' beard several days ago, it started a feud between these two venerable citizens of Pine Ridge. Yesterday, that feud reached a new high when Grandpap dug out his old shotgun and went out hunting for Lum. However, a set of false whiskers and some fast talking by Squire Skimp prevented any gunfire. As we're looking on the little community today, we find Lum and Abner in the John Down store. Abner is talking on the telephone. Now, how's that, Grandpap? Get up to the telephone. I never can hear you sit there and mumble. Huh? Oh, yeah, Lum's here. Now, don't tell him that, Abner. I don't want my head shot off. Uh, tell him what, Grandpap? Yeah, sure. Sure, I will. Well, you don't need to get so huffy with me about it. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Benny Go. Granny's a fine friend you turned out to be. Tell him right where I'm at. Well, he ain't toting that gun today long. His woman, Cherry, taking it away from him, won't tell him whereabouts she hid it at. Oh, well, that's different. What did Granddad want, anyway? Why, he wants you to stay right here because he's coming over here to tell you something, he said. Tell me something. Yeah, and he said he wanted to tell it right to your pigeon-toed face. Oh, he did, huh? That's what he said. Well, I might have a couple of things to tell him first. Well, here, wait a minute, though. I I thought you and him wasn't speaking to one another no more. Well, we ain't, neither. Huh. Special not after that trick he pulled yesterday. Uh, what trick's that? Why, he hired a feller named Killer Smith to beat me up. Paid him $15 to do it. He did? For the land sakes of life. Well, uh, who is this uh, Killer Smith on? Well, it was actual me. You? Yeah, see, I had on that dish of guys, and Grandpap never recognized me. And Squire Skimp introduced me to Grandpap as Killer Smith. Oh. I got to tell him how strong I was, and first thing I knowed, Grandpap was offering to pay me $15 to go find Lum and whip him. To go whip yourself? Yeah, well, that's about what it amounted to. Hmm. Well, is that how come you got that other eye black there? You, you give it to yourself, huh? Well, no, I tried to. Tried to beat me up, but I was just too fast for myself. Well, I do know. Just kept dodging. Yeah, it's hard to hit a fellow when he's dodging. Well, I chased myself around the block a couple of times. I couldn't catch myself. You ought to got yourself up in a corner somewhere. Then you could have beat yourself up. Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah. Finally, I had to get Cedric to do it for me. And well, if that don't beat anything I ever heard of. <laughs> Taking a job to beat your own self up. Well, I needed the money to buy a gun from old Vess. Oh, Vess? Yeah, I had to have something to defend myself against Grandpap and that shotgun of his. Oh, well, oh, whereabouts has the gun out? Did you get it? No. Somehow or other, Grandpap found out I was actual Killer Smith myself, so he refused to pay the money. Hmm. No, it looks like you got yourself a black eye all for nothing, don't you? Yeah, that gum old goat face. I ain't never going to speak to him again if I live to be 163 year old. Well, I don't uh-huh. see how you're going to talk to him when he gets over here, then, if you don't aim to speak I'll to him. I'll use you for an interpreter. Well, huh? Ah, uh, see, I'll tell everything to you, and then you can tell it to Grandpap. Oh. Because I ain't going to speak to him. Interpreter, huh? Yeah. I, is that what I am? Yeah. Well, i uh, try to keep it down to little bitty words, and uh, don't use none that I can't unpronounce. I know he's waving, waving, there comes old Grandpap heading this way right now. Uh-oh, is he toting firearms? No, I told you, Charity hit his gun. I won't let him have it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm, Doggies. He's got Mousy Gray with him there, too. Hmm. Reckon what he's bringing Mousy along for? Long, you reckon the two of them's aiming on jumping on you? No, because they know good and well. Uh, two of them together ain't no match for me. Well, I don't know now, Long. Both of them put up pretty good scrap. Yeah, besides, Grandfather said he just wanted to tell me something, didn't he? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Want to tell it right to your pigeon-toed face is what he said. Yeah. Well, just let him go ahead and say it. Then yeah. he better get ready to run. To run? You, you going to run him a foot race? All right, here they come. Oh. Be correct now. You're my interpreter. Oh, I got it. I'll do it. I'll handle it. Well, howdy, Grandpa. Yeah, come on in, Mousy. For me. How are you, Mousy? Oh, pretty good, I guess, Abner. How are you feeling today, Grandpa? I ain't speaking to you, Abner Peabody. He ain't speaking to me. Well, what have you got against me? You know good and well what I got against you. Huh? The other day you picked in and helped Lum. 
You jumped on my back and knocked me down so as Lum could get hold of me. Why, I never done no such a thing, Grandpa. You did, I know you did. I never done it. I wasn't even in the store when you and Lum had that scuffle here. Don't try to alibi out of it, Abby. Now, listen here, Grandpappy Spears. I ain't trying to alibi out of nothing. And what's more, don't you come over here to my store. If you've got anything to say to me, tell it to Mousy here. Uh Huh? I brung Mousy along as my interpreter. Interpreter? For the land's sake, you got one of them things, too? You bet your life I have. Well. I ain't speaking direct to nobody in this pigeon toad place. My dog is. Looks like nobody ain't talking to nobody. Here. All right, I'll hear it all that fiddle prattle I can stand for one day. Abner, tell Mr. Spears that if he's got something to say to me, go ahead and say it and get out of here before I throw him out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Spears, if you've got anything to say to law, Tell I'll it go. to my interpreter. Oh, oh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, Mousy. Would you tell Mr. Spears that if he's got anything to say to Lum, why, go ahead and say it and get out of here before Lum throws Mr. Spears out? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Spears, Mr. Edwards says if you've got anything to say... Yeah, I heard all that claptrap. Yes. You tell Mr. Peabody to tell Mr. Edwards that I'll tell him what i got to say to him when I get good and flat-footed ready. Yes, sir. And tell him that if they lays one knock need finger on me, I'll tear that soup strainer off his upper lip and sweep him clean out of the store with it. <laughs> I'll do it, too. I'm so mad, I don't know what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's pretty good, Mr. Spears. That ain't all I'll do, neither. Well, wait a minute here, Mousy. Uh, are you taking up for Grandpap in this squabble? <laughs> yes, of course I am, Abner. Because Grandpap's in the right. In the right? Dead gum right I am. Yes, sir. Uh, Lum never should have cut Grandpap's beard off without asking him about it first, and Lum deserved to get his eyes black. Why, you little varmint, Mousy. You ought to be ashamed of yourself standing there talking like that. I'm a good mind to whop you a good and right here and now. All right, Abner. Now, don't start another fight. Now. Well, now, Lum, I ain't going to stand here and let Mousy talk that way about you. Not in my store, anyway. I ain't going to do it. I won't stand for it. Well, it maybe he it. never meant it, Abner. Well, that's... That's trouble. I didn't mean it, though, Lum. You did? Yes, sir. See, we've just got to stand up for our rights in this world. All right, dog, did you hear that, Lum? That's what he said. What about to that baseball bat? Now, on just office? a minute, Abner. Now, forget your baseball well, bat. Well, I ain't going to let him talk like that about you, Let's Lum. get this thing over with. All Let's right, hear I'll what it is on. that Grandpap's got to say to me and get done with all this husking chuckings. I'd love to hear what he has to say that's so all far the importance. Yeah. Go ahead, Abner, and tell Mr. Spears, er... Uh, Tell Mousy to tell Mr. Spears what I said. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait a minute. I ain't speaking to Mousy no more. Oh, now, wait a minute. No, sir, Abner. I don't want to have nothing to do with that little fuddle breakfast. You'll have to get somebody else for your interpreter. I ain't speaking to him. All right, then. Mousy, you tell Mr. Spears what I said. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, no, you don't. Now, you ain't using my interpreter, I'm Edward. You get your own. Mousy's my man. I don't get wait a minute, man. This thing is getting complicated. I tell you, we, we might could go over to the schoolhouse and just let everybody write on the blackboard what they got to say to somebody else, and then we could all stand around and read it. We could do that. Yeah, could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh howdy, Cedric. Uh, just sit down over there. I'll wait on you in just a few minutes. We got a big problem we're trying to figure out here now, Cedric. I can't talk to you. Yes, ma'am. Big problem, huh? Yeah. What's going on here, anyway? Oh, nothing much to speak of. Grandpap came over here because he's got something important that he wants to say to Lum, but... Uh, I dog is wait a minute. Sidney, I believe you're the fellow we're looking for. Well, I've never done nothing, Mr. Abner, honest to me. I know you never, but uh, you can be my interpreter. Mom. You can be the interpreter that interprets twixt the interpreter. Well, I, I believe I better be going. I'll see you later. No, wait a minute now. Come back here, Cedric. This ain't going to hurt you now. Of course it ain't, Cedric. You'll be helping us get this silly business straightened out so that I can get shut of a certain goat-faced fella that's giving me a pain in the neck. Yeah, yeah. I wish I was speaking to a certain dog-faced whisker-stealer right now. Would I tell him a couple of things or three? Well, what do you say, Cedric? Well, this don't mean I'm being arrested for nothing, does it? Oh, of course not. Of course not, Cedric. You just have to say what I tell you to. Uh, that is what Mousy told you on the way back, too. Mom? Well, you'll catch on to it. Just keep your ears open. And just watch, and you'll catch on right away. Well, Mom, I reckon everything's ready now. Yeah, all right. Uh, Abner, tell Mr. Wee Hunt to tell Mr. Gray to tell Mr. Spears that I'm giving him just ten seconds to tell me what he's going to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cedric, 
Tell Mr. Gray to tell Mr. Spears that Mr. Edwards is giving Mr. Spears just ten seconds to tell Mr. Edwards what Mr. Spears has got to tell him. Yes, Bob. Uh, uh, Mr. Gray, tell Mr. Spears that Mr. Edwards... Is that the same as Mr. Lum? Yeah, that's right. Keep going. Yes, Bob. Uh, tell Mr. Spears that Mr. Lum's given Mr. Grandpap just ten seconds to tell Mr. Lum what Mr. Grandpap's got to tell Mr. Lum, I think. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Spears, uh, Mr. Edwards has given you just ten seconds for you to tell Mr. Edwards what it is that you've got to tell him. All right, good. Now, see, you tell Mr. Wee Hunt to tell Mr. Peabody to tell Mr. Edwards that, uh, tell him, uh, uh by Jimmy. Now, what do you know about that? Well, what's the trouble, Grandpa? Dad, blame it. I've forgotten now what I wanted to tell him. <laughs> 